What's up everybody? So I thought that I would just give some basic uh, vlogging a try now that we are settled in our new place. This is my new office space. I actually did try and set up the camera during the course of, of the whole move and thought, hey, let's, you know, let's document the experience. Um, I know a lot of the YouTube content that I've been putting up is not really kind of day in the life um, kind of content. It's, you know, in the gym, um, more educational stuff. And I think that it would be cool to to put out just more, you know, hey, this is this is me, this is my life, this is what I do on a daily basis. Uh, <laughs> but to be fair, the move was uh, entirely chaotic and uh, just not a super appropriate time to film. So I didn't get to capture any content in kind of our last days in the old house. Um, we have moved to the Bundus really, uh, aka Milders Drift, which is actually not too far away, but... Um, Far away enough that the weather is insane here. It's roughly like six to seven degrees colder in the mornings than where we previously stayed. And the state of my office right now, even though it's kind of looking good like this, I love that little, this little uh, neon wall sign that I got from Timu. But we have the trophies, we obviously have the pro card, but this belies the fact that uh, my office is still pretty much um, a complete mess uh, and really just dealing with the rest of the house. Uh, kitchen is unpacked, most of my clothes are still not and the office is at least usable. Uh, we have the whole setup here, this is where I'm doing my check-ins. Um, but yeah, just really a work in progress, pretty exciting and it's, it's one of those occasions that really kind of reiterates the point that you know big big moments in life and big changes in life and you you know anticipate them to be so incredible and so special and they are but those changes often oftentimes come with you know some level of of trauma um and they, they aren't always they don't always feel like you expect them to um but yeah i think i think this 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 vlog will just kind of be showing you around the new place, what's happening in life, what am I doing, what's changed. Um, this is now, I think, pushing on five weeks after the show. Um, I'm doing pretty well in terms of, you know, really enjoying my training again. Uh, hopefully a little bit later in the vlog, I'll show you some recent footage of a shoulder and or a push workout that I did with two of my men's physique clients, men, men's physique clients, Garth and Reese. Um, but I'm, I'm really enjoying my training, just you know, happy to be back in a place where I'm excited to be in the gym. Strength is moving up, performance is good. I'm holding a really good body composition. You know, my stage weight was somewhere around 183, 184 pounds. This morning I was sitting at 190. I think one of the cool things about living here in Avianto Estate is that there are lots of like walking and hiking trails. It really does feel like you're almost living at a resort. Um, so I'm getting a lot of steps in. I mean, it's right now, 10.30 in the morning and I'm already sitting at almost 10,000 steps for the day because I'm, I'm taking flex on really cool hikes every morning as a, as a big priority. So yeah, welcome to the new office, welcome to the new house. uncomfortable the chances are that you're actually moving towards a particular goal but just for a little bit I just want to be comfortable yeah I don't want to be hungry I don't want to be full I don't want to feel fat I don't want to feel skinny I just want to feel normal 
And because we're we're going away in December, we're going to uh, that Secrets of Summer music festival. So we are in the kitchen. This is what it looks like. Just finished having lunch and Fats and I are actually, the big news is we are preparing to go to the big Lifit launch tonight. So a whole rebranding. Obviously by the time that you guys see this, <clears throat> you'll see all the apparel that they have available. You'll see the new logo and everything that they have um, going on. But we get to go to the launch. So very, very, very exciting. And um, just taking you through the rest of the place. This is Flex's little outside spot here. And this is Flex. You can see that he's adapted pretty well. <laughs> What's up, buddy? He's adapted pretty well to the new environment. Pretty relaxed at home. And this is what the lounge looks like. We have all the blinds closed now because when Flex sees other dogs or other dogs or mainly cats outside, he like absolutely flips his lid. So if you look out here, I don't know, that's kind of bright if you can see that. But the place isn't really fenced off right now, so we can't let Flex outside. But it's essentially like, feels like almost living in a forest. It's pretty cool, and there's just a, a lake and river down there. New TV and TV units, which we're really excited about. So guys, in a, I mean, you just saw uh, Flex a couple minutes ago. But in a slightly unusual and annoying turn of events, I was taking him on a walk this morning. This place is awesome because he's got these great, great hikes. Um, and on the way back, a security guard stopped me and basically said, well, we're not actually allowed pit bulls in this estate. And I'm like, well, A, he's not a pit bull. And B, couldn't the person that, because somebody actually complained about it when they saw me walking him. Like, couldn't this person have just approached me and met my dog? Because if you've met Flex, you know that he is like literally the last dog on the face of the earth to ever possibly harm anyone. So frustrating. Like, it's, it's so crazy how in this modern day and age, we are like so against stereotyping people based on what they look like. But people are still so comfortable with stereotyping animals and breeds of dogs based on what they look like. It's absolutely insane to me. So I hope it's not gonna become a bigger problem because I will fight that with my fucking life. Um, you know, apart from my wife, the only thing that I will, I will stand for like that is my dog, so. What's up guys? So it is now the next morning, Friday morning. In fact, um, just got to the office to run through some final check-ins. I'm kind of trying to not do check-ins on Friday as much as possible uh, because with, so many athletes competing over the weekend now and shows running oftentimes Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Um, it just doesn't make sense for me to, to do check-ins on a Friday. So I'm really just trying to condense everything between Monday and Thursday. Um, however, some check-ins do come through on a Friday evening. And of course, we were at the Lift Fed event last night. So my working hours yesterday were a little bit shorter than normal. Um, but man, what, a, what an event. And it just, you know, it really... I think gave me a lot of clarity in terms of some of the decisions that I've made uh, regarding sponsorships and affiliations, um, especially kind of the last three, four months or so. I've been approached by a lot of, you know, bigger brands, so to speak. And really something that I've, I've tried to make very important to me is just staying true to my values and associating myself with people that share my same values. And the Lifford team, Jared, Aliska, and, and everyone else involved there, um, you know, fit that bill. And, and I would much rather be associated with a company and a brand that are growing in relation to, to my growth, um, that value me for, for who I am and where I am, and you know, not only 
what my reach or following is on social media, but value me for who I am as a person. So what, a, what an awesome event. What a great company. I'm so happy to be associated with them and also, you know, to be associated with them because that just gives me even more opportunity to hang around with my friends and, and athletes like Pet and Craig, which is absolutely awesome. Um, but yes, 9.30 on a Friday, just got back from a really long walk. Not a really long walk, but longer than normal with Flex and Fats came along this time. Um, I think, you know, this, this kind of sold her on why we moved here. What a, a beautiful experience. And it's really cool to be at, you know, 9.30 in the morning and on pretty much having met my step goal for the day. So interesting thing to note, um, and I think this is this is why, you know, I always go on about why the why the neat side of things is so important, because I have since we moved in here pretty much been sticking to the same macros that I've been on, which are, you know, roughly two two hundred and fifty two hundred and sixty grams of protein, um, three hundred and twenty grams of carbs, and roughly fifty fifty five grams of fat. Um, but just by virtue of my activity levels going up, I'm actually now within like four pounds of my stage weight. I woke up this morning at about 187, 188, um, which is absolutely crazy. And I've done nothing different aside from, you know, my expenditure levels going up because of the walks that we're taking and all that kind of stuff. So to me, when I'm kind of looking at your context, your current situation and your check-in is that you're in a sense occupying a, a fairly similar position to to what I am at the moment. Now you didn't compete, however, you did go through a fairly extensive fat loss phase to really great results, and I think more over than that have gone through multiple fat loss phases where you have maintained a very high high level of body composition. Okay, and what that means for me is that sometimes this sport, if you want to call it that, or this endeavor, I think is a, is a more accurate uh, term, can be fairly taxing in the sense that you always can feel like you have this very objective, specific goal hanging over your head and occupying your mental space. Now, me having come off my show and really the next logical step is going into a building phase, I'm really just trying to embrace and occupy a space for a little while longer where it's kind of a, a little bit of a gray area, right? I'm not trying to get leaner. I'm not trying to get bigger. I'm just trying to enjoy where I'm at. Um, you know, enjoy not being hungry, enjoying not being full, enjoying just having energy and being comfortable and kind of getting back into just really enjoying training and why I fell in love with this process in the first place. And I think there's a lot to be said for that because mentally, you will know when you are ready to push on to the next steps and pursue those next goals because that's when you'll be saying to me, hey coach, you know, I'm getting bored. What are the next steps? But I think it can be important for a while, especially when you've been so goal driven for such a long time and also within recent times have been so kind of focused and busy with regards to work and all the demands that that, that, that is putting on you. Just kind of being in a really nice maintenance phase and focusing on your training, improving in the gym, seeing progressive overload there, and just enjoying life before you can legitimately turn to me and say, coach, I'm ready to go, let's, let's push on harder here. Now you're indicating to me that um, you're getting slightly less steps. I don't see where that is falling because obviously I don't have the data on the sheet, but if we wanna be focusing, if you're gonna be cycling, as am I by the way, so in terms of where we've moved, we literally have mountain bike trails in the area or like in our estate. So I'm going to be cycling as well. And that means what we'll do is just drop the step count a little and distribute a little bit more of that kind of expenditure target towards minutes of cardio. Okay. So where I would like to see you here, and you know, again, this is kind of that transition phase, live in this, embrace it, enjoy it before we make that kind of step into a building phase. And I would probably drag this out a little bit longer to let's say, mid to end September, all right, would be to move back into training day, rest day macros so we can really push that envelope in terms of training performance, all right? So we will use these baseline numbers from your moderate days to kind of establish what your training days are. So we will have those as five training days, 165 protein, 65 fat, and we'll push you up to 300 grams of carbohydrates. And then we'll have your two rest days at 165 protein, 
70 fat, and 255 grams of carbohydrates. Then we'll set your step goal at something like 9,000, okay? But I'll set your actual cardiovascular goal at let's say something along the lines of 200 weekly minutes. So that could be 40 minutes, five days a week, or it could be 200 minutes over seven days or over four days, however you want to split it. But kind of a cumulative.